All right, guys, how's it going? So during last week's Blender Live meeting, there was a question asked by a user, and it was regarding the graph editor. Now this kind of split the community in two different directions. <laughs> it's quite funny to be honest. So I thought today would be a good chance to take a look at the graph editor, and we'll go over some basic tips and tricks. Now the first thing that I generally suggest is adding a workspace. So let's come up to the add workspace, and let's just use animation for example. And let's change this to the graph editor. Let's double click here and let's rename this graph editor, how original. So one thing that I recommend is actually saving this as a default. It comes in handy later down the line. Now obviously I need some channels to work in. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make my amazing animation and let's quickly animate the default cube. Wow. Check out that bad boy. And this is where jumping into the graph editor does come in handy. So you can see initially when I open up the graph editor, everything is selected. So if I actually drop down the object tree, you can see all the channels here. Now the question the user actually asked was, how do you isolate a channel? Now there's no right or wrong way to kind of answer this. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to select the Y location, which is way down here. So this can get a little bit crowded, especially when you've got loads of channels and loads of different animations going on. So one thing we can actually do here is press Shift and H, and that will actually hide all of the other channels. And that's one way to kind of isolate. Now to bring it back, if we press Alt and H, it'll bring the rest of the channels. So if we just want to hide, let's say for example, just a while equation, if we just press H, that will just hide the one curve that you've selected. So we can bring it back by pressing Alt and H again. Now. One thing you may notice, there's no handles here. And the reason for this is, is because I pressed Ctrl and H. So if we press Ctrl and H, it'll actually hide and enable the handles. Let's say for example, we want to select all of these keyframes in the Y location. You'll notice that it picks everything up. So what we need to do here is press Ctrl, Alt, and let's just select a keyframe. And you'll notice that it selects all the keyframe on the Y location. So that's how you can quickly select all the keyframes and you can quickly deselect them as well. But generally I just click off here. Now isolating channels, we can actually go down another revenue by creating groups. So again, I want to work on another Y location. I can right click here and I can group the channel. And let's just call this Y. And you can see underneath, it's just a Y location. So this is a quick way to kind of create favourites, I don't know if I would call it a favourite system, but it's great for grouping channels and you can do it with more than one obviously, so let's do X and Y. Again, right click, and you can see here, we have a new group. So we can quickly hide these on and off very quickly, and it will actually give us a much cleaner workflow. Now another tip before I go, if you actually box select in an empty area, you can see here we get the box select options. So we can change this to extend to deselect, and if we do it here, you can see that we can actually enable the axis range, include handles and tweak. And you can also set the mode as well. So that's some basic tips regarding the graph editor. I've made a couple of videos if you want to check them out. Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter, support me in Gumroad, you know what to do.